Musha is a great city and a vibrant part of a growing Saskatchewan. We have a skilled and educated workforce along with a variety of local and provincial incentives to attract investment to Moose Jaw. Moose Jaw is also considered one of Canada's best places to do business. Highways and rail connect us to major North American markets. Part of our competitive advantage is our position on the Moose Jaw Regina Economic Corridor, one of the largest economic regions in the province. Saskatchewan is consistently ranked among the world's most attractive jurisdictions for mining investment, which serves us well. The Moose Jaw area has large reserves of high quality potash and is home to some of the most productive farmland on the planet. Our agricultural base has long served as a powerful engine of growth and sustained economic activity for the city. Our historic downtown is also the heart of a vibrant and growing tourism industry, which adds a lot to our economy. Quality of life is a big part of what makes Moose Jaw an attractive place to live. That's why I moved my family here a little over 15 years ago. We have arts, culture and heritage, beautiful parks and trails, and we have tremendous minor sports programs, plenty of activities and local events. And we have people who volunteer their time and talent to make these things happen. The tunnels, the spa, May Wilson Theater, and the casino really put us on the map. These and other attractions like our museums and the trolley connect us to our heritage and they entice people to come and visit. The decision to move forward with Mosaic Place and Yara Centre was a clear signal that Moose Jaw is a progressive city that cares about the quality of life. One of the investments I'm most proud of is the Dr. F.H. Wigmore Regional Hospital. This innovative facility marks a significant improvement in patient care for people from all across southern Saskatchewan. It's home to the first MRI outside of Saskatoon and Regina, as well as the only hyperbaric chamber between Edmonton and Winnipeg. These and countless other investments, equipment, training, and other area health facilities serve as a significant attraction for medical professionals looking to start their careers and to build a life. Housing has been a priority for sure. From fixing up our rental units to new constructions, our government has invested in hundreds of units. This supports low to moderate income earners and those with complex needs. One of the more significant investments that doesn't get a lot of attention is the Valley View transition. The decision of the previous government to close Valley View was made 17 years ago. Our focus, since we were elected, has been ensuring that the transition is done properly, not quickly. We have worked with the people who live there and their families to make the move to new homes and in some cases new communities as smooth as possible and it's going well. Safety is a top priority for our government. In Moose Jaw, we continue to invest in needed supports for victims and those most vulnerable as well as in policing for targeted initiatives to reduce crime and to keep residents safe. In terms of road safety, we've worked hard to improve the North Service Road as well as the Trans-Canada Highway and the 9th Avenue Northwest intersection. Our commitment to safety has also resulted in bridge and culvert replacements in areas, repaving sections of the Trans-Canada Highway, improvements to the Highway 2 overpass and to the Moose Jaw Municipal Airport. It's really the honour of my working life to serve as military liaison for the province of Saskatchewan and it's truly incredible to have 15 wing Moose Jaw right in our backyard. I'm proud of the programs and initiatives we've introduced to show our appreciation for our veterans, serving members and their family. And that's something that is going to continue. After a long, long hiatus, I'm very excited to welcome people back for the air show this summer. Saskatchewan has the highest per capita spending on primary and secondary education of any province. In fact, 22% of the total government investment in Saskatchewan is in education the highest in Canada. Other important investments in this area include pre-K and early learning supports, along with increases in funding for the development of new licensed childcare centers and hundreds of new spaces. In terms of quality of life that we talked about, I'm reminded of the indoor and outdoor spaces that make our city great. We partnered with the city to maintain that. Whether it's upgrades to the Playmore Palace, our other indoor ice surfaces, or trail development and maintenance. And a number of years ago, we developed Trails End, a popular new campground at Buffalo Pound Provincial Park. 
Looking to the future, we've got reason to be excited. That includes SaskPower's decision to develop a new power generation facility that will serve as the anchor tenant in the South Industrial Park. We have a strong foundation for significant investment and the Government of Saskatchewan continues to work with the City of Moose Jaw to ensure incentives are in place to grow the economy. That strong and growing economy is what we need to keep investing in our quality of life and the programs and services we all expect and deserve. We will keep standing up for Moose Jaw, for our economy and for the individuals and families working to build a better life.